Hi everyone, here we are at Mod Shoes and we're talking about tassel loafers and loafers today with my good friend Tom, who's in Hello. sunny Manchester possibly. Sunny Manchester, and I'm liking the regular updates for those that might live in Manchester and might be interested in Manchester weather. I like in that Mod Shoes also caters for that crowd as well. <laughs> well, it, it was top of my list this morning when I woke up, you know. Very good. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to, to loafers. Tom, I think you, your love for loafers possibly stems from your sort of jazz mm. uh, liking. I think there's some, tell us, tell us about it, tell us about it. Yeah, so like, I mean, I'm a big history nerd as well, especially when it comes to like pop culture and kind of when it comes to clothing and music, it's a win-win for me. And I think when you look at the late 50s, early 60s, so much was going on in terms of kind of counterculture. And all these jazz musicians were touring around the college campuses of the US and they were copying the style that the students were wearing, which was Ivy League. And on the screen now, you can, you can see Miles Davis, you can see Herbie Hancock there with Inventions and Dimensions. And I think they're the musicians that embodied that style and are really the epitome of it for me. I mean, Miles Davis, I think you don't get much cooler than that. You can see him with the, the famous green shirt there. And I've said before, the media and his friends kind of, they labeled him the warlord and the, and the wizard of Weijin. And I think that's, for me, the perfect term for him. Yeah, no, I. I agree. It's a good look. I mean, um, Matey, the drummer, Charlie, out of the Rolling Stones, cited oh, so, that, famous, yeah. that famous picture. You know, it's it's one of yeah. his fam's favourites as too. So, what do you look for when you're looking for a, a loaf of Tom? Is it is there certain parts of it you like? Yeah, definitely. I think it's attention to detail, um, and I think it's um, a nice sort of beef roll. I think that's often the sign between a good pair of shoes and a bad pair of shoes. I think, like on the Viscounts I've got here, you can see. They're stitched. They're not. Yeah. The, the beef roll hasn't been glued together, which I think on a normal pair of loafers you were going to get from like a high street shop. That's the case. They're not made to last. Whereas these, I mean, you look after them, put a nice shoe tree in them, you polish them, they'll last you years, I think. And um, you can definitely tell the craftsmanship on a pair of these compared to ones you'll find in a in the likes of like Top Man or somewhere yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very deliberate. I mean, the. the as I think you know, and probably the fears might not, these come from a tiny, tiny little factory in uh, Spain. It's in the middle bit near Madrid. And they've been making them since 1946. And they make for huge places, you know, bigger companies. Uh, um, it's, this particular one, they, they haven't done for a long while, which is a sort of pointy one. But if you compare it to, say, like, this is our oil that we sell, and this is the new Deacon. And what you can see is that one is more pointy which I think is a bit more sort of mid-50s sort of looking. Yeah, it's a bit more of a dressier shoe, isn't it? And I think, for me, what struck out to me for that particular style was, I think, off, obviously back then, there was a lot more loafers on the market, so you had a lot more choice. Whereas now, there's less choice, so they're going to make the classics, which is just the rounded toe, but a point near toe you don't really see nowadays. So I thought, straight away, that looks like something straight out of a shop you would have got back then, maybe that... A musician visiting a kind of Princeton University or something would have worn, would have bought from there. Well, it's it's interesting. Something that's off script, but um, well, have worn more pointy, didn't he, in the Style Council days, rather than the, the yeah. sort of clumpy ones, didn't he? So uh, um... there's something a bit more European about it, and yes. I don't really know why. And I, perhaps that's why he favoured that look then. But something a bit of a European kind of look. I think I think so. I think so. So uh, penny or tassel, and more importantly, if you had a penny, are you going to put a penny in the front bit there, Tom? I mean, when I first started wearing loafers, I think, I don't know, being more kind of my younger kind of Weller jam era self would have gone for the tassel. But now I'm definitely more of a penny guy. I think, I don't know, they're a bit more of an all-rounder for me. I think you can wear them more with jeans, you can wear them with like trousers, chino, stay press. Um, yeah, every good everyday shoe for me, proper workhorse of a shoe as well. Well, that leads us neatly on to then. There's a couple, there's a couple of pictures of you wearing them. I mean, you've, you've got, I think I was with you on Sunday and you were wearing it with a work jacket. Um, yes. But then you wear it with a Harrington as well. As you can tell, tell us about what your thought process on the pictures there. Uh, I mean, there, like, I think that shows the versatility. Look, you've got a pair of white jeans, you've got a pair of chinos, you've got a pair of uh, jeans as well. And I, I think... They go with everything. Like there, I've got a, a, a Madras bomber jacket. I've got a Barracuda on. I've got a work jacket. But they're great for every day. They're just timeless and they look great with anything. You can, it's like the thing I said in the last video, you can go to kind of work and then go somewhere else at, after work and you, you look fine. You look suitably dressed. Yeah, yeah, I do tend to agree. Tom, let's just 
talk about these for a second. Uh, um, yep. I wanted to, we've got two new ones. I'll just put that up to the, the screen. Um, Bria's on that close up, I think she is. Yeah, we've got the um, Deacons, which are the Tassel, and the Viscounts, which are just the plain penny loafer. Um, again, like you've, we've just been talking about, they've got leather soles. You know, the, the, they're beautiful to wear. I mean, I've worn my um, Dukes all around, uh, you know, Greece on holiday, not Greece, Italy on holiday. Loads of places, they're really good shoe, you know what I mean? And like you say, you could you wear them with jeans, you can wear them with trousers. I think they look really, really nice. I think they're a good, good all round shoe in that respect. Um, Tom, I'm going to wrap this up. Tom, thank you for helping. You, it's always a good, good to chat to you about things. Me and you could probably talk for another hour about this particular subject, and I think we have already. Um, no, definitely, definitely. So, Anyway, the shoes are going to be on the website this week. Um, if you like this video and more, there's much more on the website. So thank you for watching and we'll see you again.